I saw the call light and a lot of my work tends to celebrate women in general, but I usually tend to look further back in history to myth and legends and things like that. And just by virtue of seeing the call out, made me kind of like realize that actually there's a lot of legends, you know, around us that should be celebrated as well. And I love telling stories that aren't as familiar or out there in the public. That was a really important part of the project. My approach was to take a bit of time first to learn about them, uh, get more familiar with their stories, try and figure out how I wanted to portray them. And what I really wanted to do was make the portraits loud and colorful and just unavoidable that, you know, you just, they're in your face and they're contrasted with a gray, dull background. I just wanted them to jump out at the canvas and, uh, and at the viewer. So you just can't avoid <laughs> looking at them. When I decided to work on canvas for the pieces um, with spray paint, I'm currently living in Bangor and I reached out to the local creative community and Seacourt Print Workshop offered me a space to use to, to work on the pieces. And it's been really an invaluable resource for me for having a space that I can have all the work out at the same time and basically hop between one, one canvas and the other. So that's been really, really helpful. In Northern Ireland, people can associate certain colors with certain communities. I was, you know, toying with the idea of leaning into that and kind of introducing that as an element of the storytelling. And then just the more I got to understand their stories and how, you know, they didn't put themselves in a box. I just decided, you know, let's make these as colorful as possible. Let's use all the colors basically and make them really joyful as well, you know, so even though they came through a very hard time, very powerful and their personalities shine through a lot, you know, just from um, reading about them and, and hearing, you know, secondhand the stories that they're involved in. Yeah, I was inspired by their tenacity, their, um, their drive and their ability to look beyond um, the social constructs that were existing at the time and and their willingness to bridge that gap, the gaps between the communities. And that was just really, really powerful. And again, learning about them and gaining an appreciation for everything they went through and everything that they contributed as well. It's a, you know, it's just a journey of discovery for me as well as hopefully getting their stories out there as well visually and, uh, and getting that information out to the public as part of the exhibition.